Hello there and welcome back. Well, it was time for an update to a video I posted about three years ago why Windows users can't switch to Linux. As of this month, I think it has like 800 likes, 800 dislikes. You guys could probably guess who likes it and who doesn't like it. Uh, the video is outdated. I make comparisons to Windows 7. Of course, now I use Windows 10 along with Ubuntu, what you see here. Um, yeah, this is Ubuntu 16.04. I'm happy with it. And if you're wondering, I'm using Kazam Screen Recorder. Okay, so how to do the update to that video without being biased towards one or the other. I have Windows 10 on multiple machines. I have mixed feelings about it. I have Linux or Ubuntu 16.04 on this one. And I'm using other operating systems based on Linux such as Manjaro and Linux Mint. So I thought the fairest way to do this, the best way to do this is to uh, comment on some of your comments, not mine, not my feelings, not my opinion, but some of yours. Um, so let's take a look at that. And I didn't post the, uh, the name of the commenters or their username. I just wanted to get through this as fast as I can. Now there are probably thousands of comments on that video. I picked just a few. So let's go right through this and then you guys can decide if that video was just or not. My, re my main reason is that it's just a <laughs> goddamn nightmare. I'm a programmer. I've been using computers since I was in utero. I've <laughs> been using Windows since at least 95. I have my fair share of complaints with Windows. No doubt, don't doubt it for a second that I don't loathe Windows. But for the reasons I despise Windows are completely different in my experience. With Linux, I have found it to be a complete time sink. First, I have to research distros. Actually kind of fun, but still time wasted. Okay, I will not go through all of this. If you are new to Linux or not, I suppose it can be a time consuming OS to try and fix things. All right, the next comment. Why would anyone switch from Linux to Windows as a desktop OS? Good question. I see the attraction of Linux as a bare bones server OS, but it just doesn't measure up as a desktop OS Windows is worth paying for. Well, that's debatable. Okay, I think a good start for Windows users switching to Linux is to stay away from Unity. I like Unity. Uh, I think it will just scare them off. KV is so much familiar and will be more comfortable. That's certainly a possibility. Uh, I have never used Linux, but from what I heard, it's in 2014's Linux Sucks video. That was um, uh, Brian Lunduk. Very good video, by the way. Check it out. Okay, there's too much forking going on, which is slowing down the OS stability and, and Unity, which for me, being lazy and getting used to the same Windows for years is bad. Uh, not sure if I want to try Linux. If I do, I will dual boot Mint for sure. Uh, that would be Linux Mint, I am assuming. Here's a big reason. No games, no switch. Well, the amount of games, the quality of games, the stability of, of the games, playing with Linux, video drivers, I'm assuming that's what that comment is. Okay, well, here's another one. I just got done watching Linux Sucks 2014 a few moments ago and found it to be very informative. It covered things that I've wondered and complained about for years. Having choices is great. Nothing wrong with that, but we don't have... We don't have 18 flavors of Windows, then subcategories under that, nor does OS X. I'm rooting for Linux as every six months or so I'll run it in a virtual machine. But can I switch completely over? Not a chance. Maybe one day they'll take competing seriously and collaborate. Until then, it's just a novelty. Okay, next one. Uh, at work, I have three Windows PCs and one Linux one. I use the Linux 99% of the time. Uh, let's see, I use Windows at work just for special corporate apps. Yes, I've even blue screened Win7 a few times despite only using it for several hours a month. What drives me nuts is that nearly every time I turn on one of the Windows machines, there is some issue that stops me from using it for 5 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, an afternoon, a day, several days. Automated management stuff interrupts workflow multiple times a day. I simply don't understand how anyone can actually do work on such a nightmare. Uh, nightmare system. This stuff never happens with the Linux box. I set it up a few weeks of tweaking, then I'm good for three to five years. I mean, it just never fails. I think that's often. That's not the case in my situation sometimes, but okay, so there's uh, a good comment there for Linux. Okay, 
Uh, the general Windows users are used to doing things a certain way. For example, downloading an app in Windows. If you want Firefox, you go to the website and download and install or double click, click next. In Linux, you use the package manager. Yes, that is definitely a plus. Uh, generally, Windows users find this to be extremely confusing. Okay, why can't I just install the package and double click to install it? Where is the program I just installed? Where is the Linux equivalent of program files folder? Uh, okay, well, let's see. Why can't I just download a driver and click next to install it? Why are the icons so ugly? Well, Linux can be pretty. Uh, why is the close button on the wrong side of the title bar? Why are the Windows borders so narrow? The fonts are uber, uber ugly. Why can't I just install? Okay, in 2016, let's just say customizing Linux should not be a problem. Okay, now this was a long comment. Um, I would either comment speechless, get back to Windows, or try to criticize some of the things you have said so you can improve your next videos because you are really doing great. You just need to keep getting more experience with Linux so you can make better, video, better videos with more accurate information. Uh, thank you whoever wrote this who took the time to write all of this. I won't read all of this. There's some uh, decentralized critics help producing per, uh, decentralized if you mean too much. I guess if he, he meant too many flavors. Uh, too much of anything is not necessarily a good thing. I have mentioned this before. It can be confusing for Linux for new users to Linux. That's why on, that's why on this channel I try to make it as easy as possible if you are a complete newbie to Linux. But as you see this gentleman, I think it was a guy, took the time to write this terrific long comment. But that being said, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. I guess one more. Okay. Yes, Microsoft collects data from Windows computers to provide metadata, usage metrics, and error reports to help them develop bug fixes, security patches, and performance improvements and not just Microsoft, Apple, Adobe, etc. do the same thing. That gives them a much larger sample size to work with than just a handful of developers using their own personal hardware. That's why in Windows you can pretty much take it for granted that you can buy any piece of hardware or install any piece of commercial software and it will work right out of the box. Yeah, that seems to be true. Um, I like this last part. P.S. Linux has plenty of malware that can trash your system with one click. It just masquerades in the form of buggy graphics drivers. Ha ha. Um, that's it. That's my update, I guess, for 2016. I may do one more. Those were some of your comments, pros and cons. I do appreciate the comments that were civil, the comments that were not civil. You know, it doesn't really affect me personally. I've gotten used to this over the years. But I will say this about... Uh, Windows or Windows 10 in general I've had I got mixed feelings about it uh, it does work as far as uh, Linux based desktops the number one constant for me at least in a Linux based operating system is unpredictability I just never know when something is going to work or not work especially after you install the default system you ins you start installing your favorite apps and I don't know if the apps will work the way they did in the past. Now, we, I mentioned something called Ubuntu Snaps. That may be the future of Linux, some form of standardized apps across the Linux platforms. In theory, it sounds great. But anyway, that's my update uh, for why Windows users, I suppose I should say why some Windows users can't switch to Linux. I haven't switched completely. I dual boot because I have to. That's it. I hope this was more reasonable and more fair than that video years ago. Uh, if I missed anything, uh, let me know, pro and con. I'll be happy to talk about it again. But I try to be fair and open-minded as possible. I know I don't always succeed, and I apologize for that. But I call it as I see it. And I thought for this video, just mentioning some of your comments, I think, was the most uh, fair way to do it. That's all I have for this one, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.